All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, your boy, man, NJ, 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 NJ to the city, NJ to the city, NJ to the city with the number two on T.O. Let's go. So, to go back into it, um, because similar to what I had on my NJ to the city's literature library on Instagram, what I had under that bio a while back was education ambassador, because I kind of am. Um, yeah, you won't find somebody else that, as I said before, representing the county as proudly as I am, unapologetically. Only difference is, by God's grace, I've dis discovered some of the social ills that still exist within our county. But again, back to, to pick back up with the last topic was off. I want all the kids to understand that did not like me during my tenure needs to understand this when it comes to the only thing I can address when it comes to you know, me trying to get people to enjoy school, encourage people to enjoy school. Because you got to realize when your county is ranked number one in the entire state of Florida, you've got to be ranked number one for more than just education. The education needs to be balanced out with student happiness. And what that means is that doesn't that make more sense that if your if your school system is number one for education, doesn't that make more sense that it's number one for student happiness as well, or at least in the top five? Wouldn't that make more sense? Oh, students are happy here. They're positive here. They're joyful and cheerful here. So wouldn't that balance out and make a lot of sense for why, you know, we're doing so well in our, you know, classes? Wouldn't that, wouldn't that naturally balance out? I believe it would. And that's why I started, you know, being the ambassador and supporting everybody in Nice and Valley, the uh, Valley Ridge, the way I've done because I want those numbers to balance themselves out. I want people to feel loved, cared about, encouraged, and supported. Because the problem is, I'll never forget, one of my coaches had said, um, a part of class 18, right? He had said, um, when I had asked him, was I the only one that loved this school so much? He's like, yep. <laughs> Legendary moment. God bless his soul. Um, by the way, he's a phenomenal coach. Phenomenal. But um, it makes sense, you know? I mean, it makes sense because... Think about it. I know what I bought into, and I know why I do it. That will never change. I've invested too much of myself in the knees, too much of myself in the Valley Ridge, and whenever I see these logos, all I think of is family, foundation, where I got my start, and where I want to continuously keep going with the future. The only thing that is disturbing to me is to know that I'm the only alumni that gives two bleeps. And what that means is I'm probably the only proud alumni, let alone, but then other than that, I'm the only alumni that I think gives two bleeps about the schools to begin with. I think I'm the only alumni that gives two bleeps about the school to begin with. And what that means, if you don't understand, so you're probably like, why does he keep saying that? Because, ladies and gentlemen, I cannot tell you how many sporting events I've gone to where it's been a one out of five chance I've ever seen a niece alumni there. Dare I say, even a one out of five where I saw a Valley Ridge alumni. But let's go more so to Nice alumni. A one out of five. And quote me on this. Several of these kids stayed locally in Jacksonville after high school. Like they're at UNF. They're at JU. They're at FSCJ. They're at uh, St. John's River. They're at Flagler. Those, you know, five to name, to name a few if those are not all the five that we have um, locally. That's what I'm saying. They all stayed. Every last one of them stayed, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm not, I don't know how many out of a pool of 500 or how many students, I don't know how many actually stayed, but I know quite a few stayed. And quite a few stayed that played sports. That's another thing that annoys me the most. Wait a minute. You played sports for our school and you stayed local for college. Why don't I see you in any volleyball games, any basketball games, any football games, any soccer games, any baseball games, any, any softball, any, 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 anything? And why is it whenever I do see you, it's a, it's a one out of five? Like it might be for the beginning of the season or it might be for senior night. Now, God bless you if you come for senior night because you can, dare I say, you can miss the whole, whole season. If you just come for senior night, that makes everybody feel, you know, feel, feel good enough, you know. I mean, I would rather you come to three out of five, but you coming to senior night makes up for it, makes up for it all. And I understand not everybody's gonna be me. 
Not everybody cares about their the cares about even the even as a freshman. Not everybody cares about their high school. Not everybody cares any of those four years that you're there. Same thing with middle school. Not everybody cares all three years that you're there. Nobody cares. And what that means if nobody cares, that means the student body. Nobody within the student body, you know, at times cares. I get it, which I'm disgusted and horrified of, but at the same time, I get it. And it's not that I'm trying to get everybody to be me, because as I've been told before, you're one of a kind. Thank you. I love myself. God is good. But at the same time, ladies and gentlemen, it's more so towards the demographic of like, somebody needs to, I mean, the, the, what, the, the, the stability or the found, part of the foundation that I tried to build in Nice, and or I would say I did to build in Nice, was the foundation of you always felt loved, cared about, and respected. Everywhere you look around your school, there's supposed to be support systems. People who are willing and ready to help you, guide you, lead you, teach you, tutor you, mentor you towards your Jesus Christ salvation better tomorrow. Now, you're always in a public school, so the last few words there might not, you know, exist. You know, particularly the religious part of that. But the better tomorrow part should be the solid core foundation. And the problem with that is, with how many school reviews I've read and people that I've talked to, where it says, none of that exists here. And that's a part of what I'm saying. And especially, God bless Duval, but Duval's a whole, whole different story. Especially when you're in the number one school district in the state of Florida. Every last bit of that should exist. That's why I said in the last video that I would not deny it if anybody were to tell me that my district, St. John's County School District, was falsifying numbers. I wouldn't deny it if we were, because there's no way in God's name you're going to tell me that we're number one, but yet in most of our schools, kids feel like they are in a freaking prison. How do I know that? Read the school reviews. If you can't find the school reviews, find a friend that goes there. That, there I say, God bless, that are not in IB, that are not in um some academy. God bless you if you are, not to try to, you know, throw any shade on you, but find some kids that are in regular standard classes, and they'll probably tell you. I mean, one of the top things I started in when my tenure in East was having friends in everything. I had friends in every academy. I had friends in every club. I had friends in literally God for everything. But that's who I am. I'm a people person. And I dare I say I had to do that as the ambassador to make us all feel, like I said before, a part of a family. This is a school home. We want you here. We welcome you here. Learn, build, and grow your high school legacy with us. I love myself, but my God, those terminologies at times I wish I would stop repeating. And the reason why I, I wish I would stop, because as I said before, nobody else cares. And I mean, in terms of nobody, no alumni care. Like, no alumni has kind of have, have come back to represent. No alum, no, nobody represents even now. That's the part, that's the part of the problem. And I mean, nobody rep represents the way I represent. Or even close. I don't know. Forgive me if that sounds very sensitive and I'm accidentally throwing shade and I don't even know it. But I want, really want people to understand the ground roots of this. I love the district that I graduated high school from. I love the fact that I even got a, part, I even got a chance to be a part of this district for five years. Yes, it took me an extra year to get out of high school. Fifth year senior. But I wouldn't trade that for the world because, again, beautiful people that I met, connections and family and except I wouldn't wouldn't trade it for the world. But um think about it. I mean, no nobody nobody else cares. But this is the problem. That's why I say that I would not deny it if anybody were to tell me that St. John's County School District was falsifying numbers and or our schools were falsifying numbers to report to the district so they can get their pay raises at the end of the day. Like ladies and gentlemen when you put all the pieces of the puzzle together, it makes too much sense. It's dirty money, it's filthy habits, and it's just a ton of corruption. Like, anybody, if, you, if anybody were to tell, because you know, I've heard it before. Everybody has literally told me, Nate, since you left, Nice, school spirit went downhill. Another word I could use there, but I'm not going to use there. School spirit went downhill. It's not a family anymore. It's not a home anymore. Nobody cares. Everybody wants to be out. Nobody, everybody resists going to school. And it's not just the niece. It's at, the, it's, one, it's, at, it's at another school that I'm not going to mention, but it's a direct feeder school. 
Actually, no, it's at most it's at those two direct feeder schools, actually. Well, I never went to those middle schools. <laughs> yeah, never went to those middle schools. I went to Kernan Middle School to more be more precise with you. I went to Kernan Middle School. But um uh, yeah. Uh yeah, I mean I, I again I got friends everywhere and I got friends who have told me God first everything. They've told me how people, nobody cares. They resent going to school. You don't have a voice. They shut down your opinions. They want everybody to fit into one big conformity field box. I mean, it's disasterful. It's disastrous. Cause, and one of the top things that makes it disastrous is because as Nice is growing in its size, Nice should also be growing in its heart, in its character, in its soul, in its dignity. Yeah, that's the right word. It should also be growing in all those different factors. <laughs> that popcorn in my teeth. But yeah, it should also be growing in all those different factors. And to know that it's not growing in all those different factors... Okay, sorry, I got a text message I needed to read or wanted to try to read real quick. But, um, yeah. So, you know what's not growing in all factors is what disturb, not disturb, disturbs me, but you can even say now, disturbs me. <laughs> what disturbs me, what makes me want to puke, make me, me want to vomit, make me want to scream, make me want to cry, make me want to just be an emotional wreck. And you're probably thinking to yourself, Nobody else puts this much stock into a school, let alone a high school. You're right. I'm one of a kind. I love it, but I hate it at the same time. At least when it comes to that category of it. I wish I didn't care about Nice this much. But I have to because I invested too much of myself into it. And there's too many kids that I know that are still there. And too many kids I know that are futurely zoned there. And the, the like the the big point there is that this is not this this can't stop because the cycle is going to keep on going of kids that are they are going to keep going there and i've told myself you know what you could just support the kids and not support the school but the problem is again i've invested too much of myself in supporting the school and the kids so i can't just it kind of did i say it would feel weird if I just supported the, the kids and not the school itself, it would feel it would feel imbalanced. It would feel weird because it would then it would feel like, why that bleep are you even going here? You know. And that's one of the top reasons why I got to keep supporting. I got to keep supporting both. Even though it does feel weird and so on. By the way, I don't think I don't know if you noticed, but in previous videos, I had a go goatee here, but I shaved it off last week. New year, new shave. As I like to say. And that's what that is. But, um, ladies and gentlemen, I just hope and I pray very di diligently to God that Nice gets back to where it's supposed to be. Because I am so not happy to know that as I left, school spirit left, school pride left, people caring about each other left, Nice grew in nice grew in size. It should have grew in its heart. That's what I'm so about. The nice grew in its size, but nice did not grow in its heart. That's what I'm. That's what destroys the living bleep out of me every day. Is to know that nice grew in its size, but it deteriorated in its heart. Dare I say, there's no love in the heart of city, which means in this case, there's no love in the heart of that school. But it, it's all because of, you know, people that I will not mention, but we all know who, who is responsible for it. Or they that are responsible for it. You know, and I'm just saying, you know, when you have a school and or school district that ranks as high as we do, it should rank that high because the student happiness lives up to the education. If that's lopsided, where there is no student happiness, but it's high in education, you need to ask yourself, why is that? And it's probably because they're working you like corporate worker drones, and they expect you to fit into one big conformity field box and have no opinions. 
It's like saying, be quiet, make me money. So, God bless more coming soon.